I'm gonna share with you the secret to exporting high quality 4K video in Premiere Pro 2023. Let's get it. Here inside Premiere Pro, I first wanna tell Premiere what portion of the timeline I want to export. And this goes for any length of video, not just one clip. So I'm gonna go take the playhead to the very beginning, and press I on the keyboard to create an endpoint. And I'm gonna go to the very end of my footage and press O. And this selected area here is what will be exported. Then I'm gonna go up here to the export tab. Once the export tab's open up, I'm gonna first go over here to media file and just make sure that this is turned on. That way I can start making some changes to the settings. And then up here under file name, I'm just gonna go ahead and name this. And then over here under location, I'm gonna click this portion here and select where I want this export to be saved to. And then just click save. For preset, I'm gonna bypass this for now because it's gonna change to custom here in just a sec. And for format, I've always used H.264, but what I'm now using is H.265. And the reason being is because it's gonna export your videos at a much lower file size, therefore exporting it much faster and at a higher quality. So then what I'm gonna do is go ahead and make sure that the video tab is toggled on and drop down that video tab. For frame size, I just wanna make sure it matches my sequence settings, so it should be 3840 by 2160. If not, just uncheck this box here, click on this little drop down, and then go down to custom. Click on this little lock here, and then manually change it to 3840 by 2160. Go ahead and click on the lock again, and then recheck that box. My frame rate should match what my sequence settings were, and this was a 23.976 timeline, so I'm good there, but if this was incorrect, I could uncheck this box, and then select whatever my frame rate was supposed to be, and then just recheck the box. Aspect should be set to square pixels 1.0, and then check the box for render at maximum depth, as well as the box for use maximum render quality. Then I'm gonna scroll down here to my encoding settings, and here under performance, you have two different options. And the first one is gonna be hardware encoding, which utilizes your GPU in order to export your video significantly faster. The only downside is not every computer is gonna be able to do that. So if that's the case, you can just select software encoding. For profile, you can leave that at main, and level should be set to 5.1. For tier, go ahead and change this to high, and then under HDR graphics white, uncheck this box here and then change this to 100 and then scroll down to your bitrate settings. Now your bitrate settings are what's going to really determine how high quality your video is going to be. Like you can increase the settings as high as you want them to be, but the downside is that it's going to be a much bigger file size and it's gonna take a lot longer to export. So what I like to do is go up here to bitrate encoding and change this to CBR. And for target bitrate, I'm going to just change this to 50. Now 50 is a good number for a 23.976 frames per second timeline. I definitely wouldn't go any lower because you're going to be losing some quality. But if you wanted to, you could increase this. But the only downside is that the estimated file size is going to increase dramatically. Go over here to quality and change this to highest, slowest. And then I'm going to go over here to the audio tab and just make sure that it's turned on. And I'm going to drop down that audio tab. For audio format settings, make sure the audio format is set to AAC. Basic audio settings should have the audio codec at AAC. Sample rate should be set to 48,000 Hertz. Channel should be set to stereo. And then bit rate should be set to 320. Now, instead of going through this process every single time you go to export your video, what you can do is go up here to these three little dots and select save preset, and then type in whatever you wanna name your preset, and then just press okay. And then you can next time just go up here under preset and then find your best 4K export settings and it will automatically apply these settings. I've also included a link down in the description where you can download the preset for free. Once you've applied those settings, just go over here to export. Continue to perfect your skills by checking out this video. Edit like a pro by subscribing and hitting the bell so you don't miss anything. I'll see you in the next video.